Well, the new year is off to a tragic start for two families in Isante County. A 21 year old man died in a snowmobile crash and the woman riding with him has life threatening injuries. WCCO's Kirsten Mitchell shows us how a friend is helping support the families during this difficult time. Despite a flurry of customers. I did about 30 driveways this morning and the snowstorm hasn't even hit yet, so I think it'll be a pretty good turnout. Tyler McCarty isn't going to make any money this week with the snow removal business. All of his earnings will go to the families of two of his friends involved in a deadly snowmobile crash during a New Year's Eve party. Fun, loving, very relaxed. I mean, he's just a great person. Faith Nelson was his prom date. He went to school with her as well as Hunter Melander, both 21 years old. We'd go fishing, hunting, and all sorts of stuff. Just get togethers with friends and stuff like that. The crash happened here at Lake Francis around 1 in the morning. According to investigators, the friends were just heading back from a short snowmobile ride when they struck a tree, killing Hunter, the driver, and leaving Faith with life threatening injuries. The driver, the male, 21 year old male decedent who was operating the snowmobile, may have misjudged where the ramp off of the lake was. Captain John Elder says they're looking into whether speed or alcohol were factors, noting neither were wearing helmets. These are tough scenes. These are horrible. As the community grapples with tragedy, Tyler hopes his fundraiser will help lift a financial weight off the families. Our small community, when things like this happen, we kind of all rally together and try to help each other out. In Isante County, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO 4 News. The first responders want to remind anyone snowmobiling this season to travel at a safe speed, wear a helmet and goggles, and dress warmly, especially in remote areas where it may take a while for help to arrive.